Every beginning of year, almost every one of us has an expectation that we are going to have a different kind of year. Many people get to write resolutions as to what they would want to see or what they would want to do or what would they want to happen in their lives. I believe that in 2020, it is no different. Many of us have expectations of this year and the things that we are going to do. We in Sitam, we are running under the theme, Give Me This Mountain. This is a topic or a theme that is taken from the words of Caleb uh, in the Bible. Caleb was one of the people that was sent by Moses to go and spy the land before they set out to go and take Canaan's land, which was a promised land by God, a land that was described as a land flowing with milk and honey. The journey that took these people all the way from Egypt to Canaan was a long one. But what is significant is that when these people went out to spy the land, 12 of them went out and they came back with a report. And it is this journey that I would want us to follow as we go on to a series that I'm calling The Steps to Taking Your Mountain. My name is David Oginde and I want to welcome you to this very special series, which I pray that will be a blessing to you. The first step that I see from the story of Caleb is having distinction. Distinction means that you are different from every other person. One of the things that is said of Caleb is that he was a man with a different spirit. Caleb was described by God himself as a man of a different spirit, not once, not twice, but three times. God speaks or refers to him as a man of a different spirit. This is very unique because if God describes you as such, then you must be so. A different spirit means that you are distinct from any other person. Uh, you are different from what uh, other people are. You pursue uh, a way that other people are not following. And this, I believe, is one of the things that will distinguish any person this year who is going to take up their mountain. What is this mountain all about? I believe that their ambitions, their dreams, their aspirations, their things that each and every one of us may be thinking about. And this is only going to happen if we are going to follow specific steps and uh, carry a particular kind of attitude and spirit that would get us to that place. How many times, year after year, many of us set out at the beginning of the year, but we never get there. Now, Caleb was described as a man of a different spirit because he displayed that spirit in one particular context. First is when they brought a report to Moses after spying the land. As they went out there, uh, they, they saw the land and they were all agreed that the land was very good. But the 10 of them came back and said, the land is good, but there are giants in the land. We cannot take it. We are like we were like grasshoppers in the eyes of those people and in our own eyes. And so when they told the people this, actually everybody was unanimous, let us go back to Egypt. But Caleb and Joshua were different. They uh, stood out and said, no, we can take the land. God helping us, we will be able to do it. And in this way, Caleb and Joshua distinguished themselves as a people who do not go with the crowd. And I want to say that any person who is going to conquer this year uh, is going to be a person with a different spirit. In Kenya in particular, we have started this uh, year in not a very positive note. The nation seems to be in a state of war as it were. Our politicians are fighting one another, fighting each other, using very strong words against one another, and there is fear in the nation as to where all this is going to lead. There is a kind of despondency that is uh, coming upon the people as we look around at the things that are happening around us. Apart from the fights that we are seeing, there have been several calamities that have come upon the land. We have been uh, through a period of drought, we have been through a period of floods, 
We have been through a period now where the locusts have come on upon the land and really the prospects of 2020 don't seem to be as good as we would want them to be. When you look at international scene, equally things are not so good. We do know that there's been a tiff between uh, the United States of America and Iran that has been threatening the global peace. And we do not know how the whole thing is actually going to end. And so on and so forth. So many things that are happening. And we could uh, equate this to the giants that uh, Caleb and his team, the 12 spies, uh, found in the land of Canaan. And we could say that this year, the way it has started, it has started with great negative things that could easily derail our dreams, our visions, and the things that we'd want to do. But I want to say that in the midst of this, the people who are going to achieve what they desire in this year are a people who are going to be distinct and different from the other people. A people who are going to lift up their eyes to God because when all is said and done, the person who is in charge of global affairs, the person who is in charge of national affairs is God himself. The Bible says the earth is the Lord and everything in it and all who dwell in it. That means that God is in control over everything. And so in spite of the things that we are seeing, in spite of the difficulties that are around us, in spite of, in spite of the challenges that we are, uh, are experiencing, if we lift up our eyes to the Lord, we actually can face the future with confidence knowing that God can help us to achieve that which we have set out to achieve. I believe that this is the one thing that will make us different from other people. You meet any person, any Kenyans particularly, as they talk about this current scenario, and you can sense a spirit of discouragement. You can sense a spirit of fear. You and I can make the difference. You and I can be the Caleb's of this time. You and I can be the Caleb and Joshua of our time, that we can bring a different kind of message. We can take a different kind of attitude. We can bring a different kind of perspective to the situation that we find ourselves in. And it is only the people who do this that will experience the joy and blessing of 2020. Personally, I believe that this year has great potential for us and for every one of us. The problem is, or the challenge is, what kind of attitude are you going to hold? The Bible says, as a man thinks, so is he. If you think that this is the end of life, so it may be for you. If you think that this is a great time, so it will be for you. Not necessarily that the circumstances will change. As we are going to see, indeed there were giants in the land that required serious action in order for the people to take the land. But in spite of that situation, Caleb and Joshua maintained the spirit that God, with God on our side, we can take the land, we can conquer. And so I want to appeal to every one of us, as we face this year 2020, let us be men and women of distinction. Let us think differently. Let us talk differently. Let us act differently. And let us trust God to do something in our lives that perhaps he would not do if we do not look up to him. And this is my prayer for you and for each one of us. And I want to call on you if you would want us to pray with you at this time. I would like to, you to join us so that we can pray together and take this mountain of 2020 and realize the dreams and visions that we may have for it. If you would like me to pray with you, why don't you just bow your head at this time as we pray together. Everlasting Father, the circumstances that we find ourselves in are not so good. We look at our nation, Kenya, and everything seems to be negative. Everything seems to be going in the wrong direction. We look at the global scene and things are not good either. 
But Lord, we do know that you are God who is the master of the universe. You are the creator of the world. You hold all things together. Your promise is that if we put our hands in you, you will lead us to the right person. And so I'm praying right now for any man, any woman, any boy or child who may be afraid in their hearts, who may be looking at circumstances and feeling like things are not going right, possibly in their own lives, in their own uh, situations, in their own homes, things are not going right apart from just the national or global. But they are looking up to you and they are saying, Lord, help me this year to conquer my mountains, to conquer the giants in the land, and to be able to get to the place of your promise. My prayer is for them, O oh God, that you would hear their cry and you would answer their prayer and you would help us, O oh Jehovah Father, to be men and women like Caleb, who is described as a man of distinction because he was of a different spirit. Give us that different spirit that will stand in the face of darkness and see that which you are doing. We want to thank you and to bless you, for we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. If you have said that prayer, take heart in the fact that God hears and answers prayer. I believe that God is going to do something new in your life. If you want us to help you in any way, answer your questions, uh, make any further prayer for you, please get in touch with us on our contacts that are right there below the screen and we'll be happy to get in touch with you. God bless you and let's meet next time. Amen.